The Moon is a natural satellite of the Earth. It orbits the Earth once every 27 days and it spins anticlockwise and has an anticlockwise orbit. Other planets have moons too. Saturn has over 50. The Moon reflects light from the Sun. As the Moon orbits the Earth, we see different shapes of the Moon, called phases, depending on the reflected light we can see. So for example, if we were looking at this Moon here, you can see it's receiving lots of light from the Sun and reflecting that back down to Earth. So this is the shape of the Moon that we would see. If you're looking at this Moon over here, what you would see is more on the left compared to the right hand side because of the way the light is being reflected off of the Moon. So we would see this shape with more on the left hand side and less on the right hand side. If we're looking at the next moon, because of the reflected light we'd only be able to see the left hand side and for the next one we would see a crescent moon and then we would appear to see no moon at all as the moon would not be reflecting the light back to earth. And these phases continue as the moon orbits around the earth once every 27 days. So the different phases that we see are the new moon, the crescent moon, first quarter moon, gibbous, full moon, another gibbous, third quarter moon and another crescent moon before the cycle is completed and you go back to the new moon again. When you look up at the moon here's a neat trick to give you some information about what phase is coming next. If you place an imaginary line down the centre of the moon and move that line until you hit the edge of where you see the moon begin, you will notice that some moon phases make the shape of the letter B and some moon phases make the shape of the letter D. So let's have a look at what that means. From the new moon, the, f the crescent, the first quarter and the gibbous phases would look like the letter B if we were to put our imaginary line down the centre and then move it to the closest point. And um, you can think of B as the moon being born. And at this point the moon is in its waxing phases. What it means is you are going to gradually see more of the moon as these phases progress until you get to the stage of the full moon. And after the full moon the other phases will look like the shape of a letter D and you can think of that as the moon dying. The moon is in the waning phases which means you will see less and less of the moon until you get the cycle back round to the new moon again. Occasionally the moon aligns itself between the sun and the earth so that it completely blocks the light from the sun and this is called a solar eclipse. And as the moon is completing its orbit, if it's perfectly aligned, which very rarely happens, but if it becomes perfectly aligned, you will see the moon appear to cover the sun and it will cover part of the earth in a shadow. If you are standing in the umbra, you will see a total eclipse. And if you are standing in the penumbra, you will see a partial eclipse. There is another type of eclipse called a lunar eclipse. And a lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon. And it has to line up perfectly. So obviously we've got the Moon orbiting the Earth and the Earth orbiting the Sun. But if they line up exactly, you can have the Earth totally blocking the light that goes to the moon so it will cast a shadow over the moon and it will look like temporarily that the moon has disappeared. Hi guys if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher check out the key stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more key stage 3 resources.